In the last video, we learned about how to convert from volume to the number of moles using a key conversion factor, concentration. We use concentration in units of grams per milliliters, but usually in chemistry we use molarity. Molarity is a compound unit and is actually moles per liter. We already talked about how concentration in units of grams per milliliter is a conversion factor. The same is true when we express concentration in this way. Molarity lets us change from units of volume to moles, or vice versa. Usually though, molarity is written as m, which hides the fact that it's a conversion factor. This is why we should always change m to moles per liter when we see this unit. Let's take a look at an example. When you buy orange juice at the grocery store, it usually comes in a carton of 52 fluid ounces. 52 fluid ounces is equal to 1.54 liters. We all know that orange juice has vitamin C in it, and some sources say that the concentration of vitamin C in orange juice is 82.5 milligrams per 100 milliliters. This is the same as saying that the concentration is 0.00468 molar. So how do we calculate the amount of vitamin C in moles in a 1.54 liter carton of orange juice? What's the first step to any problem that asks you to calculate the number of moles of something? That's right, we'll draw a beaker. Only the moles of solute go into our beaker though. We can put the volume of the solution under the beaker, but that's all we can do for now. We have to figure out how many moles of solute we have. To do so, we'll start with the volume, which is 1.54 liters. We want to cancel out liters and to get to the number of moles of vitamin C. When concentration is given to us in units of molarity, or moles per liter, it makes problems like this really convenient because it lets us cancel out the liters and gets us to moles all in one step. Whenever we see m, we'll always change it to moles per liter, so that we have a conversion factor. m is useless unless you change it into the actual units it represents. Once we multiply everything out, we can see that there are 0.00721 moles of vitamin C in this 1.54 liter carton of orange juice. We'll put this in our beaker. You'll notice that when we're given the concentration in moles per liter, it only takes us one step to calculate the number of moles of solute in the solution. Now let's think back to one of the examples in the last video. We calculated the number of moles of glucose in a D5W IV fluid when we were given the concentration in grams per milliliter. The concentration of glucose in a D5W solution is 0.311 moles per liter. Calculate the number of moles of glucose in 500 milliliters of D5W solution. We'll start with volume again. This time we're given the volume in milliliters, but molarity contains units of liters, so we have to convert milliliters into liters. 500 milliliters is 0.500 liters, so we'll start with this. Once again, we'll use the concentration given in moles per liter to cancel out the liter units and to leave us with the number of moles of glucose. There are 0.155 moles of glucose in 500 milliliters of D5W solution, which we'll put in our beaker. This is our beaker from the last video, when we were given the concentration of glucose in grams per milliliter. Notice that the number of moles of solute are the same in each beaker. We got the same answers, but it took us less steps when we were given the concentration in moles per liter. You can see now that expressing a concentration in moles per liter is just another way of expressing the same concentration. Now we have two ways of giving the patient what he needs.